Hey guys, I'm Johnny Palmer, the founder of the Pitch Air project. So um, since I've posted about the news of buying this aircraft and getting a planning commission, it seems to have been getting a bit of a cult following. So I thought what I should do is publish and share the journey of everything we're doing internally from having this airplane in the planning to the two coming together to us having this bizarre setup at our industrial estate in Brislington. I'm hoping in doing that, the lessons that we learn from the mistakes and the engineering and so on can be of benefit to other people. Maybe it could inspire people or maybe it could enable people to have their own aircraft fuselage in their yard. Um, so I just want to give this knowledge away and start some debate, hopefully make some people laugh, roll your eyes, whatevs, it's all fine. So what is Pitch Air? Pitch Air is, um, let's just quickly jump around here and give a bit of a briefing. Where are we at? So I've got lots and lots of screens here and I'm going to share this. Uh, sorry, not my finest presenting. I apologize. Uh, Bonville Road. Okay, this is Bonville Road in Brislington. This is where our business is based, Pitch. Um, we're a sort of communications company and we also do lots of broadcasting and a bit of live events. So here we are, Bonville Road. I'm the proud owner of these warehouses here and also this yard space here. So this Google Maps view is a bit out of date because it shows trees that are no longer there. What we have along here is a bunch of shipping containers. So it's a pretty, pretty average looking industrial estate, bit of cool street art down there. And these are our warehouses. And the aircraft will be going here on top of these containers. Let's look at a different view now in SketchUp. This is a site plan. So if you look here, you'll see that this is Bonville Road. These are the warehouses. These are the containers. This is my neighbors at 1A Bonville Road, and these are the shipping containers in purple. The aircraft fuselage will be sitting on top of the containers. Now I'm gonna jump around and show you what it's gonna look like once everything is done and dusted, so you can get a, get a feel for the vision. The vision. <laughs> How cool it's gonna be when it all works and it's all done. Or I should show you the internals of the aircraft, actually, shouldn't I? So let's have a quick look. Okay, here we go. This is the inside. It's big, hey? It's um, like 40 meters long, I think. So it's got a proper cockpit. All the avionics are in there, all from the 60s. Uh, that's like the salon, kind of saloon kind of area. This is the bedroom. It's got like a sort of really kitsch, 80s style bedroom suite. And then it's got a dining room as well. This is the avionics bay. Love this place. All these switches and connectors and stuff are amazing. Love that stuff. Here's me in the cockpit. And that's what it looks like from the outside. So when we talk about the private jet, it's not as flashy as it sounds. That's what she looks like. So um, that's the project. This is part one of the videos. The next video is going to be about the dirty stuff, the groundworks, the digging tarmac, running in pipes and conduit and all that kind of stuff. And if you're interested, follow the hashtag Pitch Air, P-Y-T-C-H-A-I-R. Um, I'm going to smash these videos out. Hopefully they're interesting and useful to people. If they're not interesting to you, don't watch them. And if you want to start a debate or have a chat, bring it on. It's great fun. See you soon.